I am so incredibly lucky that the majority of my formative years were spent sitting around a campfire listening to stories told by many visitors to our camp on Newfound Lake. But most importantly, listening to the stories of my grandfather. My grandfather, Wink, all four foot 11 of him, had that rare ability to capture an audience simply through the manner of his delivery. He told stories in a way that anyone with an earshot found themselves drawn in, not because of how loud they were or how intense, but purely because of the emotion behind them. I can think back to them and it only takes a moment to be living the stories myself. As my grandfather aged, the stories aged with him. And there was a time when I became concerned that they might be lost. And so I did my best, I would say a poor man's effort, to capture some of the magic from around the campfire by putting them down into paper. And so each of us brings to any story we read our own history, our own baggage. But I hope that anyone who reads Bus and Wink, Adventures of Youth, will find a little bit of solace, a little bit of happiness, and a little bit of perhaps adventure of the wild shenanigans of these two young men. I hope anyone who reads it will gain even the slightest understanding of who my grandfather was.